this is the original Mount Olympus. Yes. 2000 model. 2000 model. Yeah. Still going strong. Still going strong after 400,000 kilometers. Same okay. engine, no maintenance on the engine. Somebody told me Ford stopped making those because this was the world's biggest SUV and we're getting such flack for building the world's biggest SUV. This <laughs> be cool. But uh, it's not big enough for you, you made it even bigger. Yeah, I lifted it a little bit up. Souped it up a little bit. Bigger tires, 44 inches tires on this. And uh, definitely we did to change them. Yeah, it's just uh, so we can float on the snow fields. You don't want to sink into the snow, you want to float on top of it. This is pretty good at it. It surely steps lighter on the snow than yourself. So you've driven 400,000 kilometers to the world. Driving with uh, troubles, compartment. So we're going to see the modifications on the Yeah. But uh, it's been modified inside too. Quite a bit. Can you show? Yeah. There's a GPS, like we use in boats and airplanes. This is what we need on the glacier when we're driving on glacier and in the highland when uh, there's poor visibility and if you don't see the hood of a car, for example, then this is the only way to get home. It's um, absolutely necessary for this kind of travel. I see. And um, you have some routes plotted in. Yeah, travel, safe travel routes across our glaciers and and uh, through the highlands. And uh, underneath, a VHF center, VHF. Uh, for communication between cars and and uh, you can more or less you can uh, get contact with this uh, everywhere in the mountains. And you have your own channel here on the uh, mountain taxi channel. That's a private channel. You have. We have several channels for different purposes. This is the same as the rescue teams have, and this vehicle is the same. And this is a long range, yep. high power, long range yep. system. I see. And you've got uh, all kinds of buttons. You've added. See the temperature on the transmission here, and uh, this is a uh, compressor. I see. And this is for the extra fuel tank. You have two fuel tanks yeah. in this. Holds oh. about 300 liters. Mm -hmm. Cross the cross Iceland in winter time. There's no tank stations on the way, so we we just have to be self-sufficient. Northern lights dancing on the sky, and you know it's fabulous. Now that's why you go. Yeah. It's more like. Um, you get hooked on this. Yeah, the only cure is to go again. <laughs> For more beauty. And yeah, but experience what, what, the What about, like you, you said, you get snowstorms, you can't see the hood anymore. That's extreme. Uh -huh. That's extreme. But uh, we have, it's fantastic in the mountains in the winter time. You like these conditions when everything is snowed in? Yeah. It doesn't look standard at all. No, no. This, uh, this, is, uh, this came from solid axle in the US. Uh, so, so it's custom made? The whole axle is custom made? Yes. ARB, diff locks. Diff lock into, into the front axle. 488, get rid of air locker. Air locker, yeah. And uh, then we put uh, extra hydraulic jack for the steering. A hydraulic jack on the axle? Yeah. That's this here. This one is there, yeah. Uh -huh. Now, why do you do that? That's unusual. It's, too, uh, it's, it's easier for the wheels, it's easier for the steering. So, uh, this takes the strain off the standard steering? Yeah. So, it doesn't break? Yeah, exactly. But uh, then you have this. This is damper. Steam damper? Yeah. So, we have a hydraulic ram and you have a steam damper. Yeah, from Coney, fully adjustable. All in addition to the standard yes. system. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Coney suspension, uh, there's a suspension coils from Ford and, uh, and shock absorbers from Coney. It doesn't come like this, uh, they have leaf springs in the front. Right? Yes, yeah. So this is. That's been thrown uh, away. It's a all lift kit. That. It's a lift kit you got? So no, no, it's all, all built here. It's all custom built? Yeah. Uh, why don't you just buy a lift kit like all the other guys? Ah, this is much better. Stronger. More durable. How do you know it's stronger? 
uh, by because uh, I, I built uh, a car like this uh, some years ago, which we have driven now about 400,000 kilometers. 400,000 kilometers. Yeah, and no maintenance at all on the on the full length system. So you only no use suspension it. system at all. It's all all like it was. So you've only used it to go to church on Sundays. More or less. Uh, we don't get any lift kits uh, equal to this. It looks massive. It looks it's massive. Very really strong. Really, really strong. Yeah. 7.3 liter engine. 7.3 liter, a V8. It's a V8. Turbocharged, 80 cooler. What kind of power are you getting? This one, just standard actually. But the 250 horses. But the black truck is. Uh, it's 340. Oh, uh, been modified a little bit. And after that is uh, an automatic gearbox? Automatic gearbox, uh, all souped up as well, you know, for uh, up to 500 horses. And uh, crawl gear. And then you have the third transmission here. Yeah, that's the standard uh, transfer case. At last, something standard. Yeah. With, uh, with custom made um, drive shafts there. Yes. And from there, another drive shaft to the rear axle. Looks pretty massive. Yeah, that's uh, actually just Ford uh, 10.5. That's a truck axle. axle. Truck axle. With ARP locker. So you can lock all four wheels completely together. Yes, yeah. How do you do that? Uh, with uh, pneumatic. You mean a computer? No. How many computers do you have on this? I don't know. You don't want them? Sorry? You don't want computers? No. The air is out of the tire. Yeah. How on earth do you keep it on the rim? That's the trick. We have uh, we put this into a, into a lathe, and this been rolled in. You see this here? It locks the, the bead in on the. So you don't have one of these bolt-on bead lockers. No. That's, that's expensive. Incidentally, are illegal. Uh, expensive and ugly. It works really well. No problem. It doesn't come off. You can drive it. With almost no tire pressure. How low do you go? In tire Two pressure? psi. The, the wheel itself. Custom made. It's custom, custom made. made. Uh -huh. You just buy a, a, a standard wheel, and we, we make it wider. See how it's put in. You weld in this yeah. section. Yeah, there's a specialist here in Iceland that does that, and specially made center as well. But that's a high strength steel, high strength custom steel. made piece. Yeah. This, this is actually a very strong elastic uh, rope which takes 17 tons. Yeah, you need to put a few tons on it. A few tons on it? Yeah. Right. Put one end on the start truck. Yeah. Then what do you do? You just pull. You back up? Yeah. And full force. Full force? Yeah. And you step on the brakes and you wait for the car to come slowly up. So it's like because a huge... Because it's had stretched so much so that it's going to swing again. It's like a huge elastic... My favorite part. You know, when... When you're really stuck and can't go anywhere, the Which same always. No, it, no, it's <coughs> just a dream. If that should happen, then you know we just have to go to the bar. No kidding. And uh, what do you like? Cognac? Um, no, it's a real nice standing stuff. It's no, just uh, for, that's for oh real, that for, for real. Yes. man. This is ice standing brandy. Meat. Whoa, oh, that's cool. Oh, good stuff. This is real stuff. Skull crystal. Skull. <laughs> you make this yourself? <laughs> oh, no. Not that entirely. It's probably custom made. It's custom made. Uh, <laughs> I'm drunk already.